good evening to you. It's been a day of contrast today. It's been very hot in the south, much cooler, much wetter, and much windier up in northern areas. And if we have a look at the temperatures in the middle part of the afternoon, London up to 26 Celsius, that's close on 80 Fahrenheit, over in East Anglia, not far off that too. But once you go across into Ireland, up into Scotland, it is much cooler. And at Inverbervie, on the eastern coast of Scotland, the middle of the afternoon, temperature was only just above 8 degrees. But it is going to turn much cooler, much fresher over England and Wales, as you see tomorrow. Instead of 25, 26, as we've had today, it's going to be 18 or 19. And there's going to be quite a strong and gusty southwesterly wind as well. Most of the rain is clearing away up in northern parts. In fact, we can have a look at that on the uh, local radar. You can see the clearer weather has been pushing up the eastern side of Scotland through the afternoon. Still a lot of rain on the western side, and some of that's going to push eastwards as we go through tonight. In fact, we're going to start to pick up those southwesterly winds. That's going to bring cloud across the country and little bits of uh, rain and drizzle, but at least it'll keep the temperatures up. 9 degrees Celsius, the typical temperature, that's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the weather map for tomorrow. You can see a showery regime and very much the same as we go across in towards Saturday. So as far as tomorrow is concerned, most central and eastern parts of Scotland, most central and eastern parts of England, dry with some sunshine, but showers from the word go in the west and some very strong winds up in those northwestern parts and showers breaking out in most places, I think, through the afternoon, probably not too many over East Anglia down across into the southeast. But a much fresher feel over England and Wales with these uh, quite strong southwesterly winds pushing in. And incidentally, they'll be getting up to gale or severe gale force at times up in the far northwest, taking the edge off those temperatures, 18 or 19 at the best, as we've already seen. Saturday morning, much the same showers in the west, not too many at all in the east, but they'll be developing, I think, as we go through the day. The difference on Sunday is that I don't think there'll be very many showers at all over central and eastern parts of England. That's the forecast. Bye for now.